Hi everyone, this is Don Stouter and I'm going to make a app tip video today uh, on how to rip music from a CD using Windows Media Player. Now you might wonder why I want to do this if most of my blogs and my videos have been how to uh, do various things in digital photography, Photoshop elements, and the like. Well, often uh, when I'm making a video presentation, I want to uh, put in some background music. And I have a large collection of CDs, and I want to be able to quickly go and rip music off of a CD and make it available so I can use it in my presentation. So that's my reasoning for doing this. It's a relatively easy thing to do, but if I don't do it, uh, every few months or something I forget how to do it. So let's get started. What we have here is the screen that shows I have opened up Media Player and it might open in this particular screen for you where it's kind of looking at several of the um, recordings uh, or files that uh, Media Player and its library know about. So we've started it up and we're ready to go, but so far I have not input a audio CD into the drive. I'll do that as part of the demonstration. Okay, on the newer versions of Media Player, I'm going to go up here to click on Organize the Down Arrow. And I'm going to go down and click on Options. As you can see, I have a dialog box here of several tabs. And any one of them I could uh, click on and do various things that Media Player can do. But I'm going to click on the one here that says Rip Music. That opens up a new dialog box. And just starting at the top and working my way down, I'm going to uh, fill in the dialog boxes I need in order to rip my music. Okay, to begin with, it says rip music to this location. Here, the file that I'm going to produce as I rip the music or record the music off of the CD is going to go right to a folder on my drive called desktop. Now, I won't see it as a icon on my desktop, but if I open the folder desktop with Windows Explorer, I'll see it. If I wanted to change it to another folder or drive, I would just click change and it could fill out this particular dialog box. I'm good with desktop, so I'm just going to cancel here. File name. Want to click there. Select the details you want to include in the file names. Click move up, move down to arrange the order of detail. Okay, to begin with, I want the artist to be recorded in the file name. I want the track number and I want the song title. But I want the song title to be first. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to move it up. Now the song title is moved up one. Click it up again. And finally, there at the top. So I've done that. And each one of these will be separated by a space. Down here it shows you kind of what will look like. Song name, sample, artist, and name 0.01 MP3. And we we'll, won't rip the disk automatically. And we won't eject the CD after ripping. Next comes uh, quality and probably the lowest you should go to go towards here. Oh, I have a mistake here. <laughs> Forgot to close this dialog box, file name options dialog box. I'll close that. There we go. Okay, going back over here, we're going to rip it to an MP3 format, the one I like to use. There are other formats available. Got to look at them here real quickly. I'm going to go with MP3. Okay, eject CD after ripping. I won't do that. 
I'm going to set the quality level. Right now it's at 256 kilobytes per second. Probably that's a good one to use. Uh, not too long ago, 192 was uh, being used normally. I believe that uh, 256 has become kind of the new com common. Certainly has good quality. So I'm going to click OK to exit this. Okay, so now it's about time to uh, put in a CD. I won't see me do this. I'm not quite sure what you'll see on the screen. But right now I'm importing or in in uh, <laughs> inputting or loading the CD drive into my player on the computer. Let's see what happens here on the screen. Might cut some of the stuff out later. Okay, it started playing. You might hear it in the background. I'm going to hit pause. Okay, now for demonstration purposes, I'm only going to rip one song, but you can see automatically after I loaded the CD, which is called Behind the Curtain, I believe, by Fleetwood Mac, Behind, Behind the Mask by Fleetwood Mac, recorded in 1989, it automatically selected all of the songs in this particular CD that would be ripped to the file. I'm only interested in one. So to begin with, up here at this small square, I'm going to click on the check mark and make it go away. Now the check marks have been removed from all the other squares by each one of the tracks. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to play. Let's see. Well, let's just try number six here. So I'm going to put a check mark there by track number six, Affairs of the Heart. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on the Rip to CD button right up here on the menu bar. And the process should start. You can see ripping here, it's ripping one. It doesn't take too long. I'm actually now playing the CD. We don't hear anything. The audio doesn't play. And notice the check mark has gone away but it's now the verb has turned into right ripped pardon me not rip but ripped to library okay so I ripped this to the library on my computer but the file that I'm interested in is going to be in this desktop so that's pretty much all I need to do other than to see if we can verify it I'm going to close down media player. I'm going to go to Windows Explorer and go up here to desktop and somewhere down here I should find what I've just done. Uh, hang on. Here, let's do an order by date. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, I forgot. Right here, it's put it in a folder, Fleetwood Mac. And behind the mask, there it is. Sorry for the mix up here, I forgot where to put it or how it shows it. Let's see if it plays right. Click here. Hit play. And you probably hear the system speaker now. So there it is. I'll stop this so you can hear me. So there you have it. That's how you rip music easily from a CD into any file that you want put on. Um, your computer or a, it could be to a uh, flash drive or one of your external disks, whatever. But now it's available for me if I want to add it to a slideshow. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you find this uh, 
review, really, if you will, of how to use the media player to rip music helpful. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.